Hello there. Hello, can I help you? Three-time WWE champion Mick Foley here to see the Olympic champion. How you doing? Kurt Angle. Back there on the right. All right. I heard there was an Olympic gold medalist in here. <laughs> Mick Foley. <laughs> How, How are you, you doing, Kurt? Don't put that <laughs> hand out for me. Oh, I, I didn't think it'd be appropriate to come to meet a man of your magnitude without some type of gift. OK, what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> the badge. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my god. It's a gold badge. <laughs> it, it matches my gold medals. Is that great? This is classic. <laughs> You're going to wear it? Cowboy Kurt Angle, yes, I am. I'm the sheriff. It's a badge. It's pathetic. Badges? You got us badges? We don't need no stinking badges. I'm going to take credit for seeing, like, the humor in Kurt Angle. Do you remember when you I... You saw it early on. I saw and it you early know, on. Grab a chair. Oh, pull thanks. up here. Let's have a seat. Means we all knew, here's this guy who's picking up this wrestling like a duck to water, right? <laughs> These three people who picked it up quickest, in my experience, are... Steve Austin, who I felt had it from the first day I saw him. Rock, who was a phenomenon. Yes, he was. And you were a phenomenon. Yeah. When you came out, and this is one of the great iconic moments in uh, United States Olympic history. And you're down, you got tears coming down, it's all legit. And then when I saw it in WWE, <laughs> your opponent get disqualified <laughs> in a match. And you hit your knees and did the same thing. I, I pointed to whoever was there. I was like, he's going to make it. Uh, you just took it to new heights, especially when uh, when you teamed up with Steve. You realize how stupid you look with this stupid little cowboy hat on? You got me it. I knew I got it for you, Kurt. It was a joke. You look like a jackass. Was that the last time you used the hat? I believe so, yeah. That was it. We're um, trying to bring that hat home. Oh. I have it right here in my You're office. You're kidding me. <laughs> no. Here's the cowboy hat. The I'll little... put it on. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> I look like an idiot, but this literally made my career. <laughs> the tiny cowboy hat represents an incredible era. It was a tiny era, but it was an incredible era <laughs> where Kurt Angle was the biggest dork in WWE history. Woo! 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 Right, woo! 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 Yes. woo! Woo! And how did you come to be paired up with Steve? Well, what happened was we both got injured at the same paper. Hey! I cracked the vertebrae in my back, and Steve broke his back as well. So Vince was like, oh my gosh, my two biggest wrestlers are out with injury. I'm going to uh, put them together and do some comedy. I'd like to honor you with this honorary gold medal. I'll tell you right now that I'm going to store this in a, a real special place. Thank you. I, I think you should, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, right up your ass. <laughs> When I got a chance to start working with Kurt Angle, one of my favorites of all time, just an amazing talent, picked up the business faster than anybody I've ever seen pick it up. And we were just trying to do things to create some entertainment. What's wrong? Well, you got Vince a gift. You even got yourself a gift. You didn't get me a big gift. I was walking through a San Antonio airport, and I looked over in a display case, and I see this little bitty cowboy hat. I didn't forget about you. That's great. Here Thank you. Foul. Yeah. I like you. Not very much, but I like you. Is that it? It is. Oh, wow. We had started doing these skits, and as soon as I saw that little cowboy hat, I said, oh, man, this would be a damn good thing for Kurt to, to wear on television. And I bought it out of the window from the person that ran the store and, you know, took it to Monday Night Raw with me. And, of course, you know, Vance, and no, nobody knows what I'm up to. Hey, guys, how's this look? I feel like a real cowboy. Oh, God, we were laughing. Vince kept yelling, cut. He's like, guys, you guys are going to stop laughing. And, you know, Vince got so mad that he was like, listen, from now on, if anybody laughs, I'm fining you $2,000. So everybody kept you know, their mouth shut. The other thing we're looking for, and I don't know, this might be harder, um, when you won your first WWE title, uh, you had an enormous booger in your nose. <laughs> You're looking for the booger? We're looking for the booger. <laughs> <laughs> so no booger. No booger, but I knew you were coming today, okay. so I brought a few other items I want to show you. 
Um, this is when I drove the milk truck into the arena. Oh, wow, this is the shirt yeah. I was wearing. My God! What is that? Whoa. That's Kurt Angle's driving a milk truck! It's true, Kurt Angle shirt. I got... This was when I sang Sexy Kurt. Oh. The night I sang Sexy Kurt, this is the shirt I wore. Hit the music! What does he mean by that? Oh, oh, shit! I think I'm cute. I got the melody. Oh, my. I got the mood that makes them all tap. I'm just a sexy Kurt. Sexy Kurt! Oh, my God. I'll make your ankle hurt. The other thing I wanted to show you, none other than the Olympic gold medal, Mick. That's not the... It's the one I wore the first night on air in WWE. There you go. The, That's the, the real, real deal. deal. Yeah. Wow. This is... Oh, what an honor, Kurt. The feeling I got after I won the gold medal, uh, there was a lot going on in my life at that particular time. Uh, I lost my Olympic coach, Dave Schultz. He was shot and murdered six months before the Olympics. And uh, also, you know, breaking my neck um, about uh, two months before the Olympic Games. But it felt really good to stand on the podium and have your national anthem playing for you. Your family's there celebrating with you. You can't get a better feeling than that. It was redemption. So, Kurt, part of the reason I'm here, other than talking to you, is I'm hoping that I can bring some of these items home to WWE, we're trying to display them at the Royal Rumble. Okay. And I think fans would just love to see Kurt Angle memorabilia. That's pretty cool. Now, now, wait a minute, you want me to donate them? Ah, Mick, I, I don't know. Listen, my wife will kill me, because I gave away all my singlets, my boots, wow. everything, to all the Hall of Fames and charities. Yeah. And I kept nothing. This is all I have left of my career. This is it, right here. I have to leave something to my kids. I did the same thing. <laughs> I know you did. That's where I took it from. Uh, I would. Uh, I started you know, donating all my stuff to charity because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how about alone? Alone? Alone. alone and and not the gold medal. Not <laughs> yeah, the gold medal. The gold medal stays here, right? <laughs> I give you everything else. All right, gold medal alone stays it, right? Here. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of these moments were priceless. You know, the cowboy hat, the sexy Kurt singing that song. A lot of wrestlers don't have these moments. I've had a lot of them. And not that wrestling isn't important, it is. It's one of the most important things. But those moments that you have separate you from the rest. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this.